Good day everyone, my name is Mahulan. In today's video, I'm gonna take you all for a cruise journey called Spectacular Jumping Crocodile Cruise in Northern Territory, Australia. I'm here in a place called East Arnhem Land in Northern Territory, Australia. There are cruises available here to go through Adelaide rivers for sightseeing, enjoy watching the wetland animals and birds, crocodiles in and along the river and also they feed few crocodiles and hogs during the cruise journey. While feeding the crocs, the crocs used to jump out of water and catch their food vigorously. That's why it's called as spectacular jumping crocodile cruise. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay, let's get into the video. This is the gravel road which took us to the destination for spectacular jumping crocodile cruise. Either side of the gravel road is very beautiful. A lot of grasses and small plants grow on both sides and as you see there are small hills in the distance too. Look at that guys, there is an old factory situated there and it is abundant now. This place is very beautiful with nature, clear sky with white clouds on the top and wetland with green grasses on the bottom. As you see guys, this is a statue of crocodile in the entrance of this place and you can see a boat called Spectacular Jumping Crocodile Cruise. Now, let's go to the top of this building and check in for our cruise. We have finished our check-in process and now we are going to get into the cruise. How are you going? Good, how are you? Good. Yep, sure, thank you. As you can see, on the left there is a big board. When there are more people in this place, they used to go in that board. But today, we are going to go in a small board which is on our right. This gentleman is our guide today and he is the captain of this cruise. First, we are gonna go searching for some crocodiles and we are gonna feed some of them. Look at that boy right over there. That's our first crocodile encounter today. Look at how cool and calm he is. We are going to just leave that boy there and we are going to go searching for another one. This is the Adelaide River we are going right now. As our guide said, there are more than 10,000 crocodiles in this place. Wow, look at this croc, it is coming towards us. This one came towards us and just chilling near to our cruise. Right, now we are going to feed this one. As our guide says, this is a female crocodile and her name is Digger. This croc is 3.2 meter long and he says females normally grow up to 3 meter and stop growing. Yeah. Wow. In fact, 
even two metres is no guarantee you're going to make it. No. Stumpy caught, killed an eight at two and a half metres. There she is. There she is. Like pretty much all our girls at the moment like is uh, grabbing this side carrying eggs. So we're right in the middle of the meat uh, mating, breeding, nesting season. So all our girls are pretty much carrying eggs. Uh, and now that we're getting some consistent steady rain... Guys, look how far these crocodiles are jumping out of water to catch the meat. This is why this cruise is named as Spectacular Jumping Crocodile Cruise. Very, very fussy eggs. Just imagine what will happen if someone falls down into this river. Probably there will be a good feed for these crocodiles. Wow, that was a good catch, Digger. She got her food and she will enjoy that little chunk of meat. Look there, guys. Digger got her food and went away from us. You can see a new croc near to us. Oh, he just went into the water. This one is a male crocodile named Stumpy. Wow, look at the size of this croc guys, it's freaking huge. This guy is roughly 90 years old and he is nearly 5 meter in length. He also weighs nearly 750 kilograms. Normally, crocodiles live up to 100 years in captivity. That's what our guide says. He got three legs that are in various levels of stumpiness. That's why he is called as Stumpy. Our guide is saying that he has been the king of this part of the river quite some times. He lost his third leg in a battle with another crocodile called Trevor. Now we are going a little far away to another part of this beautiful river. We are going to search for few other crocodiles there and feed them too. This part of Adelaide River is really beautiful. Clear sky, wide river, trees and bush on either side of the river. I reckon I am having a good day. Hope you guys too have a good one. In this part of river, 80% of the crocodiles are female. As this time of the year is the breeding season for crocodiles, most of them are now ready to breed and soon there will be more crocodiles in this river. Now we can see another crocodile coming towards us. The name of this one is Candy. She is a female and this one is not fully grown yet and is nearly 2.7 to 2.8 meters only.
What Candy doing here is being very patient. She is trying to get the food without putting much effort. Crocodiles are normally energy conservative and Candy is following the same. Candy is being lazy and enough of jumping for her food. We are no more playing with Candy and going to give the meat to her this time. I was wondering how they identify each and every crocodiles here by their name. I asked that question to our guide and he said they identify the crocodiles by their inhabitant area, their behavioral patterns and also marks and special appearances on their body. There will be only one male crocodile live in a particular region of river and if another male comes there, it will fight that and chase away. The crocodiles can swim at a speed of 24 km per hour. This speed is three times of the speed of an Olympic swimmer. Another thing is crocodiles are very very strong in water compared to the land. Look there guys, another crocodile is there and it is coming towards us. Have you guys wondered why all the crocodiles are coming towards our cruise after seeing the cruise? It is just because they are getting food every day from the cruise. They know the timing and they swim towards the cruise to get their food. This one is Roger. He is a male and currently this buddy is roaming around in another crocodile's territory whose name is Casinova. He came here searching for Casinova's girlfriend and for a one night stand with them. If Casinova catches this block here, there will be a fight between these two crocodiles and this block will be chasing away. Another information from our guide and he says crocodiles get three sets of teeth per year.
It is very convenient for them to hunt and eat when they are having new teeth every year. Spectacular jumping crocodile cruise is operated four times a day and they feed different crocodiles in every trail. I reckon we are done with crocodile feeding and now we are going to feed some birds of prey. This lady is throwing some meat pieces into the air and you can see predators are catching them and eating them. I would say that's the end of feeding session. These people also have a gift shop on the top of this building. Let me show you the beautiful gift shop and the things they sell there quickly. That's a wrap guys. Thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos in future. I will catch you all in another beautiful episode. Till then, cheers and take care.